Before this video begins, I wanted to give a special thanks for all the viewers helping me reach 2000 subs on YouTube. Thank you, it means a lot. Anyway, in this video I wanted to talk about characters that would be really cool as fighting game characters. And the rules for this video are very simple. The characters have to not exist as fighters in any fighting game franchise, 2D and 3D fighting games, but platformers are excluded. So I came up with a list of 10 characters that I would like to see one day as playable fighting game characters. Number 1, Nero from Devil May Cry 5. If it has been too obvious, I'm a pretty big fan of Devil May Cry and he's pretty much the only big slash important character from this franchise which you haven't seen as a fighting game character. He has a huge arsenal of tools that could turn into a sick ass fighting game character. Starting from his main weapon, the Red Queen, which essentially has a heat engine that he can rev to change his regular slashes and special moves into fire infused versions of them. He also uses a special double shot revolver and has a mechanical arm constructed by his friend Nico. The mech arms come in many different variations and obviously unique movesets for them. Therefore, this all compiles into what I consider a really cool character, especially if you take a liking to his personality, which honestly, it's not that hard. I'm back in this bitch! Number 2, Tifa from Final Fantasy VII. Pretty much everyone and their mom wants to see her as a fighting game character, which honestly I have to very much agree with. She's a very likable character for multiple reasons, she also combines a sweetheart personality with the ability to throw hands perfectly. Not to mention that her archetype as a fighting game character would translate very easily into a rushdown up close and personal type of fighter. Another cool fact about her is that due to her popularity a lot of people have been asking her to be a so? DLC character. and the game she's been mostly requested as a DLC out. character for is the recently released Tekken 8 huh? and honestly this seems like a perfect match as she would fit very much into the gameplay of Tekken. Number 3, Zagreus from Hades. From my perspective, this character essentially made the roguelike genre a thing. Zagreus, the son of Hades, is trying to escape hell to meet his mother, using a multitude of infernal arms including swords, spears, bows, shields, gauntlets and guns, with each of these weapons having different variations to them for even more variety. On top of that, he can also borrow powers from other gods in form of bones, which additionally empowers properties of his weapons moveset. As you can probably tell from this info, he would make for a very stacked character with endless possibilities for his moveset. I would love to see him in a fighting game because Greek mythical gods throwing hands seems very lower accurate. Number 4, Makoto Nijime for Persona 5. This is probably the only anime character in this list, purely based on the fact that she has a sick design with a bike for her persona. She's also good at throwing hands and using a revolver. She went from one of my most disliked characters to my favorite side character in the entire Persona series. She could translate very easily into a rushdown character similarly to what I said for Tifa and the fact that the Persona franchise as a fighting game already exists, there might be a slightly better chance of this actually happening in the future. She's also best girl by the way. Number 5, John Wick. Yeah. This might be the only character based in reality that I would like to see as a fighting game character. Seeing the gore and violence in the movies, I could very easily see him being a Mortal Kombat DLC character. Dude, I can already imagine the pencil fatality happening. They could also give him great tools for zoning by using the different types of guns that he uses, like he does in the movies, and I can imagine his strings looking really cool as well. I honestly think this would be a perfect match for Mortal Kombat. He didn't shoot. Consequences. Number 6, Bayonetta. Alright, this one might be slightly considered cheating because she already appeared in Smash, but Smash is still not a traditional 2D or 3D fighter, so it doesn't count. I mean, come on, do I really need to explain why she would be sick as a fighting game character? Just look at her. Actually a perfect female fighter, with a big variety of moves that could very easily translate into any type of fighting game. 10 out of 10, there's nothing I can add to this one. Number 7, Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 4. I can't believe Capcom actually made Nemesis before Leon into a fighting game character. By far one of my favorite Capcom characters that could be turned into a fighter very easily. This dude has great personality, sick fighting skills and a badass outfit. 
I imagine it's not that hard to make him into a fighting game character because he literally uses like 80% of moves that make up the fighting game character already. The only thing I kind of struggled with was finding a right super. Then I remembered the intro to the Mandes boss fight when he rolls the barrel at the enemy and he's like Astal Luego. <laughs> and I'm like, this is the perfect amount of cheesy for a Leon ult. Either that or Ada just does the classic rocket launcher drop for him. Ashley, run! Okay. <laughs> Anyway, this is a 10 out of 10 fighting game character. I will not argue in this one. Sorry. Number 8, Melania from Elden Ring. Mainly based on the fact that this was by far the hardest boss that I fought in a FromSoft game and the fact that she has a very cool design. I think she would make a great fighting game character with a cool moveset and a possible install super from her phase 2 transition. With a big katana she could make a decent mid range character with the ability to close the distance really fast and a lot of mix up potential. Obviously the most annoying aspect about her cannot be in a fighting game which is lifesteal please god do not put that in. Or I'm taking everything I said about this character being in a fighting game back. It's like, I'm good on that one. If the life steals there, I'm not there. Number 9, Sekiro. Another FromSoft entry, but this one is the main character. As fighting games are not strangers to ninja characters, I figured this list needed a cool character like that. And it doesn't get much cooler than Sekiro with his prosthetic arm that can turn into various forms of defensive or offensive weapons. His tools are amazing and they would very much translate into a memorable fighting game character. Honestly, if a ninja character with a big ass katana and a prosthetic arm that can shoot firecrackers turns into an axe or spear or a flame cannon or a shield umbrella doesn't excite you, then how about catching lightning and throwing it back at the enemy. He's literally perfect for a fighting game and I can't believe he hasn't been in anything else. Number 10, Pan Am from Cyberpunk. So, to be honest, this one has a 0% chance of we appearing in a fighting game, but hey, I like hot I badass woman, and if you played Cyberpunk, you would like Pan Am too. There's not much of an argument to be made here for her as a fighting game character, other than she could use a sniper rifle for a variety of range skills, and her truck with the OP machine gun maybe for her supers or something, I don't know. The main appeal for me is her design and personality, she went from like a cold and angry woman to sweetheart real quick. Also finding 10 equally appealing characters is really hard, so I went with what I would like. Keep in mind this could have very easily been like Yen or Siri or Shadowheart for example or some other character that I can't think of right now. But Panam is 6 so you should play Cyberpunk at least for the character. Anyway, this is my list of top 10 characters that I would like to see in fighting games and if you have anything to add, please feel free to do so in the comment section down below and maybe tell me who would you like to see as a fighting game character. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!